Hello, welcome back to Oracle DBA tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about atomicity properties of a transaction. So, to understand this uh, properties, we are going to take three scenarios and we will explain you atomicity on, on these three different uh, scenarios. So, let's consider the first scenarios. In this first scenario, which we have, a, you know, this is, a, this is how it is. We have a table B and in table B we have a column called B and then that is of integer type and then we insert a value to 0 so that means at this point the value of B is 0 and then we have committed and then we create another table A and then we have a check constraint in that table that the value of A will be always greater than 0 that means you can insert 1, 2, 3, 4 but you cannot insert minus 1, 0 and so on Right. So that is what it uh, says about this uh, in, in the constraint. All right. And then what we did is uh, we are going to create a trigger, and that trigger is going to uh, be on on the table A. And if on table A we insert a row, then we are going to update the tables B's column B with and uh, with 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 plus one. All right. That means if I'm successful inserting you know one, then this value is going to be become one. If I insert ten, then this become two. If I uh, do fourteen, then this become three and so on. So whatever the number of columns, number you know, number of rows I'm going to insert to table A, and each time when I insert something to table A, the before insert trigger is going to fire and it is going to update the value of uh, the column B of table B with whatever value plus 1. So if this is our scenario, let's try to figure out if we do insert into A, say I give value 1. Okay. So if I give, in, so you know, to start with, uh, this is our, just want to change this thing. So there is nothing is there and then initially the value become, the value of B is 0 and then what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to insert into A1. So if I do insert A into 1, this basically leads to one more thing that is going to insert 1 and also update table B with, uh, you know, whatever the value of, and then it will do the update statement. So basically, essentially this insert, whatever I'm giving, it is coming to insert and update. So insert into table A and update into table B. So Whenever I am going to insert into one, so it's getting one is inserted here, and this value become. Let me erase it. So this value become one. Okay. Then we are going to try. Let's try to insert into a minus one. So if I am trying to do insert into a into minus one then this is equivalent to having insert into minus 1 and then before insert I am going to do this update right so basically what is going to do you know it is going to update now the value of b b is become 1 and then it, is, it, is, it will make b to 2 but then it comes to uh, see like you know can it you know so it's first it update and update become because of the update it is it, it, it this become 2 okay so this become 2 but then when it's trying to insert into a minus 1 because this check constraint is going to fail now so if the check constraint is going to fail then it cannot really insert value 2 the no, value minus 1 here it cannot insert so if it cannot insert then what is going to do it is going to automatically uh, roll back like since it cannot insert minus 1 so therefore you know whatever the value of 2 is not going to be done it is become still become 1 so is it clear? So basically, what I am saying is that this insert statement, if it fails, then whatever things that is changing because of this insert is also going to be rolled back, and this is what is essentially called statement level atomicity. Okay, so that means. So, so the, the, the key point here is that this statement is basically generating one more additional statement which is called update because of the trigger. So, you know, irrespective if this, you know, if 
you know if it's successful then only the update also been going to be done but if for whatever reason this is going to be fail then if there is an update that update is going to be rolled back okay so that object is going to roll back and this is going to give me a statement level automaticity what you can do is you can try this thing and then basically so I have all the scripts are available so you can just to make sure that you know I'm telling the right thing what you can do you can try this script which probably will be available on the website or you can take it from this video that you can try this thing and then try to insert minus one and then you'll see like you know what is going on and this is the concept here is the statement level atomicity so now what I'm going to do I'm going to do a little bit more interesting so what I'm going to do I'm going to create a procedure in scenario 2 I'm going to create a procedure and procedure name is test 1 and inside that procedure I'm going to do insert into 1 and insert into value minus 1 then what I'm going to do I'm going to execute that procedure by test 1 okay so what do you think the value should be so let's basically do uh, to start with a doesn't have anything and b has a value with 0 table b right so this is table b and this is table a and when i'm going to do execute test 1 this plsql procedure instead you know, indeed is going to generate this kind of statement the first statement statement is insert into 1 insert into table a 1 because of this insert and because of the trigger that we have already written you know in, in, in case of your inserting you are going to update right so therefore it is going to do an update of table B and update value will be 0 plus 1 become 1 so this is first step the second step because of this insert then we are going to do the second insert when we're going to do the second insert what is going to do insert to minus 1 and then when this get insert into minus 1 because of the trigger I am going to first do update of B and then I am going to set to 2 because I am I'm, as if I am going to insert this thing but the check constraint is going to fail because we are going to insert minus 1 value then what is going to happen is that all these things is going to be rolled back ok so whatever we have done all this is going to roll back the reason is that either test one is going to be if the test one is to be successful the test one is going to run on entirety it's not that part of the thing that we are going to run and part of things are not going to run so since you know test so basically think about this way the moment we are giving execute test one so it is indeed generating all these SQLs and all these SQLs together should successful okay and since this thing is failing here whenever we are trying to uh, try to insert minus one therefore all the other statements whatever is before is also going to be rolled back and we are going to go to as if nothing has happened and this is called procedural level atomicity So if you compare this procedural level atomicity with statement level atomicity in case of statement level atomicity this thing just went fine okay but if I want to put them together and my and I'm going to execute procedure like this then then in order to this procedure to be successful everything should be properly so therefore at the end of this execute test one there will be zero row here and so the value is zero here and nothing will be inserted here so we started with a statement level uh, you know atomicity where we make one statement to be successful then we come in a procedure level uh, atomicity where we combine couple of things then comes the transaction level security uh, transaction level the scenario three is transaction level atomicity so where we will say that this SQL statement one SQL two three four all this thing together creates a transaction and then if you commit everything will be committed or if you roll back all these things will be rolled back so this is what is all about your uh, atomicity and then you know in oracle implements all three sorts of atomicities starting from statement to procedural to the transaction level atomicity